All right, Lemonade Day, been around since 2010 and just helping to plant the seeds, I guess, with entrepreneurial spirit in young kids. Quickly, since I have trouble with names, my own name, your name? Danny. All right. Lauren. Allie. And your name, sir? Barkley. Barkley. All right. So, Lemonade Day, in a nutshell, how would you guys define Lemonade Day? So Lemonade Day, it's a free program um, that anyone in the state can participate. It is a program that teaches young kids um, the spirit of entrepreneurship uh, by running their own business, such as a lemonade stand. So it's a fantastic program. It kind of takes them how to create a business plan, how to save money, how to invest, um, and then obviously come up with their name, market their lemonade stand, and then afterwards, you know, what to do with the money. I mean, this has exploded. I, I would imagine start with Lemonade Day, come on. And then now you've got, I don't know, 15, 16,000 people taking part? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. So we've been, uh, we've been a partner with Lemonade Day in the state of Louisiana for nine years now. Um, and it's just, Whoa. it's a fantastic program um, that takes just the simple, um, you know, tools as such as, you know, making lemonade and get them really thinking about what sort of business maybe they want to um, think about when they get older. All right, so Barkley. Do you have your own lemonade stand? So, so what are we doing? What's the recipe to a great lemonade? All right, we start with lemonades. Should put, put your muscle into it. Let's see how it's done again. <laughs> Look at that. Now, who taught him how to make lemonade? Uh, well, I think I did as dad. Um, <laughs> so very proud of Raising Canes for being part of uh, this great program. Uh, proud of our managers like Lauren and, and all across the area supporting it. And then obviously as a dad, proud of, uh, of my son as, as well as all the children in the area that uh, participate in this program. Well, what have you seen? What have you seen in Barkley you know, with this program and then maybe probably other folks doing it? Uh, well, not only just making the business and, and participating in the program, but then also giving back to the community. So uh, we, we encourage um, spending some of the money, saving some of the money, and then giving some of the money back to local organizations. Uh, so I was really excited to do that uh, with my son last year. All right, Barkley, so we have the uh, lemonade, now we're putting in the, we have the lemon juice, putting in the sugar. I would imagine it will require some really good stirring as well, sir. <laughs> he has his whisk, you got it? So Barkley did a lemonade stand last year and it was very successful mm -hmm. um, and he put a special twist to his lemonade That's and he's right. going to do and that And the special today. twist was? What's the special twist, Barkley? Mint ice cubes. Mint, Mint ice, ice cubes. cubes. Barkley, All right. this is awesome. So you are like the guy to see. Now, where can, where's, where can we find Barkley? We're in Youngsville, so, okay. uh, but there will be lemonade stands all across the area, so uh, we really uh, would ask that folks go out and help support these, uh, these lemonade stands on May 4th. Wow. Yes. And, and, go ahead. I'm sorry. You can, um, and you can also register your lemonade stand at louisianalemonade.org. So we encourage all this uh, kids that are participating. Again, it's a free program. So for teachers, moms out there, please be sure you visit the website, sign your kids up, um, and then make sure that they actually register their stand so we know where they are. And as Danny mentioned, we would love the community to help support these young entrepreneurs. So if you're out there on Saturday, May 4th, please go ahead and visit uh, the lemonade stands. Um, give them a tip if they did a good job. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's a fantastic program. Well, so I do a number of philanthropy classes across the area, and I always try to tell these guys, um, you know, you're not too young. Don't wait until you're 59 right. and a half to get out there and try to make a difference. You can do stuff right now, even at the ripe old age of five. All right, Barkley, can I help pour some of this? Let's see. Yeah, we're excited to taste it. All right. This looks great. Mint ice cubes, you came up with that idea? Dude, this is great. All right, how are we doing on time? Can I, do I have time for lemonade? Okay, then I should sample <laughs> it. Okay, Barkley, hold up your glass. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Woo. Oh, that's good. That's good. Ooh, Very good. Barkley. Suppose we need to talk about weather. We'll sip the uh, lemonade. Dave will. Uh, <laughs> Dave, for